Breaking news. Ella Rams lovers, get ready for an exciting analysis of the team's potential moves in the upcoming NFL Draft. All the information you find here comes from reliable sources, ensuring you are up to date with the team's guidance. For the most loyal fans, those who have been following the Rams for over a decade, we would like to invite you to subscribe and become members of our channel. Your support is essential for us to continue producing quality content for you. What will the LR Rams do in the 2024 NFL Draft? And could they trade, potentially up to the last pick in the first round? Anything is possible with Les Snead. I was going to do a matchup between a CBS mock draft by Tom Fornelli and an NFL.com mock draft by Chad Reuter, but they both had the Rams drafting the same player Illinois defensive tackle Jer Johnny Newton. However, there was a fundamental difference. Reuter had the Rams lose 13 spots and still get Newton after letting the Kansas City Chiefs go for a receiver. The Chiefs haven't put any emphasis on drafting receivers in the past. I don't necessarily know why they'll change that strategy now, but that's on the Rams. In his mock draft, NFL.com's Reuter had the Chiefs trading up to select speedy Texas WR Xavier Worthy with the 19th overall pick. Reuter has the Rams receiving picks 32 and 64, which I'm sure Sneed would love if that were actually something in play. I will be very surprised if Kansas City is willing to trade their first and second round picks to compete for Worthy in a deep WR class. Reuter then makes the Rams pick Newton. General Manager Les Sneed stated on the season with Peter Schrager podcast that there is no one on the planet like Aaron Donald, who retired last week. No one expects Newton or anyone else to replace Donald. The Illinois product just needs to be disruptive. And don't be surprised if the Rams trade up their first round pick, making it eight consecutive years without a first round pick for the franchise. In the second round of Reuters' four round draft, he had La Select Georgia safety Javon Bullard and Kentucky linebacker Trevin Wallace. That would give the defense needy Rams three picks on that side of the ball in the first two rounds DT Johnny Newton, S. Javon Bullard, and LB Trevin Wallace. Many Rams fans would be happy with the emphasis on defense this year. In the third round, Reuter had the Rams select Jalex Hunt from Houston Christian and Kicker Cam Little from Arkansas. In his CBS simulation, Fornelli had similar reasons for choosing Newton, but he couldn't dream up a made-up trade like Reuter. With the retirement of Aaron Donald, the Rams suddenly find themselves with a huge hole on the interior of their defensive line. Newton is no Aaron Donald, but they share similar traits. Both are undersized, disruptive inside forwards with strong, violent hands. Of course, fans would prefer the one with Newton and a second round pick over the one without, but is Johnny Newton the player you'd like the Rams to take in the first? Let us know in the comments and your thoughts on Reuters' all D-Street picks. Now, with all of these considerations in mind, LA Rams fans are eager to see how the team will approach the 2024 NFL Draft. With Les Snead at the helm, anything is possible, and every move could shape the future of the franchise. The fate of the Rams is about to be decided, and fans are ready to follow every moment of this exciting journey. Now, we want to hear the fans' opinions. What do you think of this negotiation strategy proposed by Reuter? Leave your comments below, and let's start a lively discussion about the direction of the Rams draft. Finally, we invite you all to subscribe to our channel for more updates and analysis on the LA Rams. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other fans. We promise to bring you more information in the future to keep you always informed about your favorite team.